Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. Tento again. I just wanted to show you some easier ways to make a frog and ducklings and a turtle. Um, I first wanted to show you the easy way to make a frog. I took a shape that looked like a double baby snowman. Small head at the top and a bigger body at the bottom. You can take circles from a, that you trace around a cup or a glass um, or any object. It might be the lid of something. Um, you don't want it to be too big because it's got to fit in your pond. Um, and I did, I started with a base like this. Then I added some pop-up eyes that really are standing up rather than popping up. And on the back, you can see where they're just like two little long gumdrops. And I glued them on and then I put the eyes on the front like so. It looks like one popped behind here. Um, well, I'll worry about that later. And then I put a little tongue on with a smile and little nose. And I fan folded the, the arms and the legs and my frog is made. The next thing I want to show you is an easy way to make a mama duck. I just took a piece of paper like this. Here's my mama duck. See where that paper would be? This is a, a bigger duck, but this is a smaller mama duck. It's just a shape that is a half of a circle, half of a circle, and the head is simply another circle on top. And then the wings are just a triangle that's been folded and glued on to look like little wings. And if you wanted to add tail feathers, you could take a, a scrap or another color and have it come out the back like a little feather. Um, and then the, I put a little eye on there out of paper, a little circle, and my beak, I just made a shape like that. I had it folded in half. It almost looks like bunny ears that way. And so I used a half a, a folded piece of paper and cut it out and kept the fold in the middle. So there you have a simple duck. And then the baby duck, the duckling, Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the baby duckling is made the same as the mommy. Now I just used an oval shape, as you can see. And then I used a smaller circle. And you can see the circle going around here. And then I did the little mouth in two little parts that just look rounded because a duck's beak is really called a bill. It's rounded. And then I took another triangle as you can see, I folded it and glued one side of it to the, um, and if you look at it like this, it helps to look at the direction that this little triangle is going in so that you get your le your little wings up. And I just glued it on like that. And then it kind of opens up. So in the water, it'll have little wings. You could put little feet, and remember, duck's feet are webbed feet. I didn't put them in because I was going to have them swimming in the water. Um, and the last thing I made was a little turtle. My little turtle is made out of a circle as well. A circle and some little triangle feet that have little triangles taken out of them. And then I took another circle and cut out like a donut shape first. That's a little smaller than the circle. I made a donut shape like a lifesaver almost and cut it apart and then didn't use all the pieces because I wanted to leave that little bit of dark green shining through. And I used the oval part from the top of the center of that Lifesaver donut part of the paper, cut it in half to make it look like the turtle's top. And then I added a little, I call it a light bulb head. It's shaped kind of like a light bulb and glued it on here. And my circle had a damaged spot. I didn't realize that I didn't get a perfect circle, but that was perfect for a turtle so that that's where his little head comes out. And then a little tail that is just a triangle. See how the feet are triangle where I cut little triangle, two cuts at a diagonal. I cut, let me show you with scissors. I cut into it from like this and then like this and like this and then like this. And I have little triangle turtle feet. So my turtle's ready. You know what's fun in a pond is a little stack of turtles piled up at one a log or sitting in the sun on a rock. That's where the, or they could be swimming under the water. 
are on top of the water because they are amphibians that are both in water and on land. Um, the next thing I want to show you that I was thinking about making is a little beaver. And I have cut out, I took in a fold, and I kind of made, oh, it almost reminds me of a Russian doll shape um, or a salt shaker shape or something like that. And then I took a little piece of brown. Now I had that little piece. Well, I'm going to have to do it again. Um, I could use a cattail that I made that I'm not using, and I can cut um, a little tail. And their little tail, this is kind of a sausage shape right now, but I'm going to make it into a beaver tail. And it kind of looks like, you know those little wooden spoons that sometimes in the summertime you get a cup of ice cream with from the store or from an ice cream man, and they have a little spoon that comes in the lid? or it looks like a wooden spoon that's been cut off. Well, that's gonna be my beaver tail right there. And I'm gonna put it right on the back of my beaver, right like this, and that's their little tail. And a lot of times people will make them look like they have much more um, texture by doing hash marks. And hash marks are just crisscrosses across the back. So I'll show you what that looks like. At least to me, that's what the little hatch marks look like. Crisscross little X's on the back. And kind of gives you that look that they are furry little animals. And there's that. We're the beaver state here in Oregon. That is our state animal. And so I'm going to make some little legs for that little um, beaver. I already have pre-cut brown for that. And I will get my rectangles. I'm really big on using rectangles for, for legs and feet because you can cut any way you want. And so I'm gonna just make, I think they have uh, webbed hands, but they're furry. So you can't really see all the details. That if you look back at um, the book about beavers with the um, photographs, I'm just gonna put little impression of a hand at the end of these. I don't know how many fingers they have, or toes, but I'm just making it look a little bit like it might look like this. See how those go like that? And I made all four at the same time, so I can glue this in and show you what I think. There's a little um, hand and a hand. Let me get it glued in, and I'll show you really quick how that one works. Again, rectangles, if you use shapes, it goes so much faster. And you can use a lot of, um, what do you want to say, ovals and circles. Ovals for bodies of animals is always good. And rectangles for arms and legs that can be longer and skinnier or shorter and wider. Um, it doesn't matter. It just gives you an idea of how our bodies are made in animal bodies. And there's so far that much. I think this guy needs a browner head. So I'm gonna give him a little brown head and I'm gonna put little eyes on it. And then I'm gonna put some little teeth because doesn't a beaver have uh, really sharp teeth? And I know my son is from goes to Oregon State, so their uh, mascot at Oregon State, State is the beavers. And he's there because he's getting his degree in um, mechanical engineering. So he would be way more precise than I'm being about this little beaver. Oh boy, I think this beaver needs to have a pop-up head, a little bit of a pop-up. Okay, so there's my little head. It may look like a beaver, it may not look like a beaver, but I don't have a picture in front of me. I usually like to have a little picture in front. I'm going to put some glue in the middle of my folded part. And when I make my frog pond, the beaver is probably the one who created the pond in the first place because they take and build their highly architectural house um, at, the, at, a, at a part of a stream. They dam up the water and that causes the little, um, the water to just totally, totally, totally 
get blocked up and it instead of being a stream it becomes a pond and sometimes those little ponds can become lakes but the beaver dam has to be really strong and if you watch the movie that has the photographs in it you'll see how hard these little beavers work and like I said earlier the beaver is known to be the animal in the world that is the grand champion of building houses the probably one of the most architecturally built houses but i i know the the bees make wonderful hives and uh, ants make wonderful tunnels of nests and other animals tunnel with lots of little chambers and some just make little nests and oh look what i did i put some eyes on that little beaver and now he really needs some teeth because that's what keeps going uh, to gnaw down all those trees and twigs that he needs to use to keep building his house. And if you watch the movie, you'll see that they they keep building and fixing and building and fixing. He's gonna have some pretty good pearly whites up there. I'm gonna just put him in front like this. So my little beaver has teeth and they may look big. You might want to make smaller ones or pointier ones and look at an actual beaver so that you make yours better than mine. I'm always happy when my kindergartners do a better job than I do um, because I'm doing this, what they call ad lib. That means just from watching the, the books and reading the books and watching the videos. But if you watch the video, you'll get a better idea of what a beaver looks like. This is kind of a, a goofy looking little thing, but it's okay. I'm doing the best I can, and I'm sure you're going to do the best you can too. Maybe he needs little nostrils. I don't know, but I'm gonna put a couple in anyway. Oh my, he looks like something out of a book character. Kind of funny looking little guy, but he's gonna go swimming in and take care of building a house. Maybe he's just a, a couple year old one. He's not very big, but there's my little beaver. And so boys and girls, the last thing that we have left to make would be say butterflies, flies. Um, you wanna make some, uh, oh, what do they call those flies with the big wings, dragonflies. So I'm gonna show you how to make those wings for a dragonfly because they're beautiful bugs and or insects and they when I was a little girl at my cousin's pond um, those butterflies those um, dragonflies would land on us when we were swimming we'd be swimming and poof all of a sudden we'd see dragonflies on us and some people would get frightened of that but they're nothing to be frightened of they don't bite they're just beautiful to look at so I folded a piece of white paper and I'm going to make a double set of wings and they almost look like my duck bill that's funny isn't it and I might even do an extra little one here oh yeah there we go and here's my dragonfly wings I'm just see the shape of it it's almost like a stretched out butterfly skinny 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 stretched out butterfly and when I open it up it's kind of like that and then I'm going to get a beautiful piece of blue because the ones that I remember they were actually shimmery and they were blue or they were green and they were beautiful as they danced on the water and I'm going to just take a skinny piece of that I'm going to quickly do this because we need to get done with this tape recording I'm going to make Kind of like a butterfly, I'm gonna make a little notched body, a skinny little body, because they're not real chubby animals. They're very, almost stick-like, they're very slender. And um, if you want to put antenna on them, you may. Um, and there, I made like a ruffle, but it's folded. And as I open it up, there it is. And I'm gonna attach the wings to the body and there is my little dragonfly. And boys and girls, 
I would like you to make some bugs on yours. You don't have to make an over amount. Bugs and reeds and maybe some, oh, even a lily pad. There's my little um, dragonfly. And you can draw a little face on and eyes, whatever. Have a nice day, boys and girls. I hope your ponds are coming along nice. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.